What is going on, guys? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today, I got a two-lay parlay for Wednesday, July 24th, 2024 here at Pit Dogs. We dropped the most repeat videos out of anyone, so click that subscribe button. Drop a like. It helps us out a lot. If you guys want the picks like the best, the picks like the most, the picks that I'm betting myself personally, go to pitdogs.com. Click the premium pick section or click the link in the description of this video. You'll find all my plays there. All righty, guys. Unfortunately, the parlay streak ended yesterday. We had the Red Sox versus the Rockies. Um, God damn it. It sucks because when I gave out that pick, I, I, the pitching matchup was different. The pitching matchup was different. I'm not going to use it as an excuse, but god damn, if you guys placed that bet with me and uh, had to go through that sweat, through extra innings, I know how it felt. It, it definitely sucks. So um, it sucks that I got to make these videos early and, you know, sometimes pitch, pitching matchups change, but got to move forward. No excuses. Let's keep it rolling. Um, I'm going to be in Costa Rica in the next five days. So if you guys, if I miss a video, it's just because I, I just didn't have time to do it. I'm going on a little vacation. I'm going to try to get a video out every single day. Um, but just want to give a, a heads up there. Let's see. All right, let's get into this first pick. We're headed to Toronto. We got the Rays versus the Blue Jays here. I'm going to take a shot with the Tampa Bay Rays on the money line here. They're a short favorite minus 115. I just think they're the better team overall. I think they're in better form right now. And this Blue Jays team, I just want to continue to fade them. Um, what's, what's wrong with this Blue Jays team? You look at their lineup. You look at their starting pitchers. You're like, all right, it's it's not bad. But when you actually dig into the numbers, I mean, this team is actually garbage where it really matters. Um, they have the second worst bullpen in the whole MLB, second to the Colorado Rockies, which is understandable because uh, they're playing Coors Field. So take out the Rockies. They're technically the worst uh, bullpen in the MLB. And then when it comes to uh, their hitting, you know, 25th in, in – Total runs, 27th in home runs, 20th in OPS. Um, this team's just bad all around. When it comes to Tampa Bay, like, don't get me wrong, they haven't been able to hit the ball good this season, but they do other things well, and that's why they're able to maintain this this even record. Uh, they've also played pretty decent at, at home, too. They have a 23 and 23 record at home, whereas Toronto, 22 and 20, 22 and 26 um, uh, at home. And when they're, they've been in these slight underdog spots, it's been a really a struggle for them 13 and 31 as a dog this season and when it comes to this pitching matchup we got Eflin versus Rodriguez I think this will be a pretty even pitching matchup Eflin has definitely seen more action throughout the season he has more starts he's been in more spots Rodriguez um you know he's been decent he kind of started this year off more as a reliever getting you know three innings worth of work four innings worth of work and then his last couple starts we've seen him get uh, a couple six innings um worth of work and you know he, he's been solid but I don't know. I think I think we see a start where Rodriguez kind of blows up uh, soon. Dude, what am I? So yeah, so yeah. I don't know with, with guys like that who just haven't been that active. So yeah, when when it comes to guys like Uriel Rodriguez, when they just haven't had much starting pitching experience, it kind of it kind of worries me. I feel like they're just kind of one blow up away from a, a bad game. So um, I, I I like what Rodriguez has been able to do. But at the same time, Eflin has experience in these starting roles, pitching longer longer innings. And like I said, if, if Rodriguez doesn't go far in this game and that Blue Jays bullpen gets activated, that's a really good sign for this race team. Because like I said, the, the Blue Jays bullpen is absolutely garbage. So I'm going to take my shot with the race here. I think there's a reason why they're slight favorites uh, on the road when they're – you know, this is a pretty even pitching matchup. So give me the race on the money line there. Next, we are headed to Colorado. Look, I understand. You know, we took the Red Sox on Tuesday or Monday. They lost. We're switching sides, guys. We're going to the Rockies, actually. Um, I, I think we see I think we see a really close game in, in this one. And I wouldn't be surprised if the, the Rockies won outright. So I'm going to take the Rockies plus the run and a half. I think it's a, a safe play here. I think it's like minus 114. But... To start off, I mean, we all know the Rockies play much better in Coors Field. Um, it's kind of been that way for the last couple of years. And in my opinion, they have their best pitcher on the mound for this Wednesday. Uh, Cal Quantrill has been a nice piece. I mean, he has a 4.15 ERA. Pitching in Coors, that's actually really impressive. Um, so uh, we got Nick Pavetta on the mound for Boston, 3.87. He, he's been decent this season, but, you know, that, that Red Sox bullpen has been rocky this year. So uh, no pun intended. <laughs> but... I, I like the Rockies to, to keep this one close, maybe maybe even squeak out a win. They've actually been pretty damn good in these underdog spots. Um, their last 10 games that they've been plus one and a half uh, dogs, they're seven and three in those games against the spread, and then 28 and 23 at home win plus one and a half. So 
these are the spots where the Rockies do well. I think it's a close game. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they won this one outright, but I'll play it safe and, and take the run in the half. So that's going to do it, guys. For the first leg, give me the race on the money line. For the second leg, give me the Rockies plus a run and a half. I appreciate you guys watching this. If you want to follow my handicap career more closely, you can follow me on Instagram at BradwinsBets. I post all my wins and losses there, my Pitos content, other free picks. It all funnels back into there, but most importantly, subscribe to Pitos on YouTube because we're just trying to help you guys win some money. I'm going to catch you tomorrow.